all our leaders should recognize that history will judge them harshly for pushing Kenya one step closer to the level of a failed state. For that is what we are slowly sliding into. If 14 million children are denied a very basic right to schooling, simply on the basis of a feud between government, the trade unions, and teachers. There cannot be any reason, there cannot be any justification for kids not to be in school when they should. 14 million of them. Even if it was one child, there cannot be any reason. And we want to tell our leaders that history will judge them very harshly. It doesn't matter how good their arguments may be. It doesn't matter how justified they are. Nobody has the right or can have enough reason to steal the dreams of 14 million young Kenyans who are looking up to them. As Kenya Publishers Association, we are asking that the President of the Republic should exercise even greater leadership and call for an urgent meeting with all the protagonists with only one goal in mind, to find a solution that will allow the immediate reopening of all schools. We are saying that the statement is not good enough and the president has all the instruments of power. He is our elected leader. We are looking up to him to make this a matter of great priority, to be the key negotiator in this issue and ensure that all the constitutional bodies involved in making the decision of reopening schools meet as a matter of great urgency. As a matter of fact, we are aware that our president is supposed to address a very key UN uh, Assembly uh, meeting, and we are asking the president to be able to, uh, to, be able to uh, initiate these discussions and find a solution before he travels.